Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. This is Katie and if you're new here, hi, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing if you enjoyed today's video. And if you're back, welcome back. Today we're doing an unboxing in this lovely triangle shaped box that just came today uh, from a brand new diamond painting company. So let me go ahead and start to get into it here. The name of this company is true artist diamond painting and i saw jeremy over at jeremy jmtj crafts uh share about this company and i am always excited to check out new small shops so i hopped right on over to this etsy shop saw a kit <laughs> uh, that immediately caught my eye and went ahead and ordered it i like i said i love supporting small businesses especially with companies like this that are legally licensing their artwork from artists so as soon as i can struggle my way into this box we will get into it how are you guys doing today have you heard of this company yet if not i'm excited to share about them with you oh my gosh all right, let me cut the rest of the way into this. Okay, now that I've spared you the struggle a bit, let's get into it. There's confetti, there's goodies. Okay, yes please. Also, it's pink confetti, so I'm extra happy right now. Let's see what we've got. We have a card that they've addressed to me for Katie. There is nothing like supporting a small business. All the little touches. True artist diamond painting. Appreciation of artists matters. Amen. Preach, please. Okay, there's a little sneak peek of what we're going to be getting into. A little snack size kit. They included an about the artist. Nathaniel Manns is an LGBT plus artist who is a graduate of Sheridan's animation program and works as a multimedia artist in New Jersey. And there's all of their social media info. I'll link it below in the description as well. They included some stickers, which yes, I'll add those to my collection <laughs> always. Okay, thank you for purchasing a true artist diamond painting. Committed to bringing you unique diamond painting kits that feature exclusively licensed art, ensuring that our artists are paid for their work. We hope that with every drill you place, you find joy and fulfillment, along with the peace of mind that you are also supporting the artists who are proud to share their work with you. I am so on board with this already. This is fantastic. <laughs> I love that because if you've been here for any time at all, you know how much emphasis I place on supporting artists and not buying from companies that use unlicensed artwork. So uh, goodies for self-care, so I get to self-care with diamond painting while also taking care of my face. Yes. <laughs> um, candy, so I can take care of my sweet tooth. Ooh. Okay, this is weird, but I actually wanted to try one of these bars. So, okay, nerds, Sour Patch Kids and Skittles. Oh my gosh, this is like self-care in a box. What do you think's in here? Toolkit, more goodies, let's see. I like the branding on everything. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, washi tape that, oh my gosh, it looks like constellate, almost like constellations. And then is this wax? Excuse me, designs.com. It looks like it's, is it wax? It's putty. And I think it's, I think it's scented. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I want to use this immediately. Okay, this little yellow cat thing on the other hand i do not know what that is <laughs> let me see what are you it's squishy do we but it's packaged like do you eat it <laughs> no you don't eat it i don't know what this is but it's not food it's definitely not food but it's adorable so cute <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's like Christmas. So that was all the goodies that came in this box. 
love, love, love that fun packaging right out the gate. That is so fun. So here, this is, I'm assuming, going to be our kit itself, again with the branding, made with licensed artwork and love. You guys, I'm excited. And the amount of care that had to have gone into packaging all of this, like, oh my goodness. Okay, so it is... So it was packed in the tissue and it looks like it's in bubble here. Now we've got our image and info there at the top. I want to say that when I saw Jeremy post about it or when I looked on the website, I think these are poured glue, but we will of course double check. Okay, so everything out of there I do see a loose drill but that's okay yes we have poured glue all right so let's take a look at the toolkit which is our basic white tray pink wax and a pen Though of course I don't know why you would use the pink wax when we have that putty to try out that's really cool. Like small businesses supporting other small businesses. Yes. <laughs> so we'll get into the drills in just a minute. Let's look at the canvas. But first, it's a little wrinkled. But here's the wonderful thing about poured glue. It's very forgiving. You can safely roll it back the other way. And along with that... To help it lay flat you can peel back the plastic so anything that looks like wrinkles to you that's just where the plastic shifted this is going to lay flat and the glue is going to be absolutely fine so as always if you um do peel the plastic back from your canvas like this i do like to remind you but I generally don't recommend pulling the plastic all the way off of the canvas because it's not reversible. If you put it down with the top side down, it will get stuck to your canvas <laughs> and you will have a hard time. So if you do need to pull it all the way off for whatever reason, then either test it on a small section before you put the whole thing back on um, or put a piece of washi tape on it so that you know which part is the top side. So look at that. How cool is that? I love it. So let's take a look at all the goodies on the canvas. They have branding at the top. I'm loving the really consistent branding right out the gate for a brand new company. Here's the schematic. We have the model number, the size. This is a 30 by 40. We'll measure to see if it's true to size. It has 30 colors and the schematic has the symbols, the number and the DMC code. So it does have DMC. Even for a snack size canvas, they've put the schematic on the top right and the bottom left. So you can refer to that easily. They listed the artists that they've licensed this from at the bottom. Um, so you know, again, it's legally licensed. And then all the info about the canvas itself. The canvas, like I said, has serge edges, so it's not going to fray. And it's not super soft, but it feels like a nice quality. It's not like one of the really cheap and thin, um, like oil cloth canvases. This, you know, it feels like a nice quality and it's gonna, this will lay well once it <laughs> rests just a little bit. So at the moment, the company just has two images available in their Etsy shop, but I'm really hoping that with some time and support that they're going to continue bringing new artists to their company and more artwork so that we'll have yet another fabulous diamond painting shop to add to our options. So let's take a look at the drill field. The symbols look super, super clear in person. That's not, not just on the camera. And they all look very distinct. There aren't any that look like they're too similar to one another. This canvas looks fantastic. <laughs> and the drill field and everything looks really, really good. It looks like this will work up relatively quickly, not just because of the size, but there seems to be a nice mix of color blocking and confetti. Love that. All right, I'm gonna flip this over so we can take a look at the drills. Uh, according to the schematic, there were 30 colors and it looks like they've put the unit number. This is gonna match the number here. 
as well as the number on the outside of the bag in case you store your canvas and your drills separately from one another it's easy enough to match up later because you just look at that number so i'm going to open this up so we can look at the drills more closely if you don't like the crinkle mute until you see me uh done okay sorry there was a random square drill stuck in there but frankly i don't know if that was from one of my kids <laughs> earlier or if that just me it was a straggler that made its way into here so i reached right for that big bag of 939 i'm guessing that's going to be in our background and taking a look these are round drills if i didn't mention that already and it weren't obvious but uh, from what I can see, the quality looks very good. It's nice that they come in the Ziploc baggies and they're done by weight. Um, but if you don't want to go through the work of kitting up for a kit this, a canvas this small, uh, this would be very easy to just work out of baggies on if you wanted to. So $7.97, $7.83. I don't believe this comes with ABs, but that would be, that was not something I would expect from a brand new company either. So a couple at a time here. Again, drill quality looks good. Blue, pink. And if they're done by weight, you really shouldn't have, you know, trouble with not having enough drills, but you know, we'll see. This is, for me, this is a little bit more of a snack size kit, so I'll probably get to this one really soon because I'd love to be able to share a poster view with you guys and hopefully encourage you to go and check out the shop if this doesn't encourage you enough already. So love these yellows and golds. I think this piece is gonna be really striking. So I was excited when I went to their Etsy shop and saw that they had one of their two pieces was a dragon because <laughs> Even though the art isn't necessarily exactly my style in terms of what I would gravitate towards, I thought I can't say no to that. It's still calling to me. I absolutely want to support this small business and check out a brand new company. Love that. Okay, this is like one of my favorite color combos ever, especially the mint and pink. <gasps> Love it. Again, these drill quality, uh, the drill quality does look fantastic. And I will go through and um, I'll count these and do just a quick inventory using the side, the schematic on the side. That's a big bag of 798. Um, I'll use a schematic on the side, just confirm that all the colors are here. Um, and I'll let you guys know if they are not. This did not come with a separate inventory sheet, but on a canvas this small, I might not even to put anything on my containers besides just like numbers 1 through 30 and then just refer to the legend since the canvas is small enough i can very easily see the legend or schematic from anywhere that i'm working on it so like i said these drills all look fantastic i really didn't see any trash just there looking through it so that's a good sign <laughs> let's go ahead and measure this and see if it is measuring true to size so we should be 40 inches tall measuring just the drill field and we are right smack dab at 40 i said 40 inches 40 centimeters 40 inches would be huge no 40 centimeters by 30 and we are the tiniest hair under 30 width wise so it measures true to size love that let's check the stickiness super sticky love it so this definitely is a high quality poured glue there's not even that much that's you know spilled past the drill field you guys i am stoked <laughs> this was super 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 exciting to unbox the canvas looks great at first glance i have no complaints whatsoever the only thing that i might note and this is such a minor thing and it's a personal preference because there are plenty of companies that don't do this but if they have if this company gets larger canvases i would love for them to include a sticker sheet or an inventory sheet that i can turn around and you know make a copy of or just feed through my Zyron sticker maker for kidding up purposes but that is just a nice to have that's absolutely not a deal breaker for me at all so let me 
give you guys a good look at this dragon without the glare. I love it. I love it. Um, I love, I am still seriously blown away by all the extra care that went into the packaging with this. Sending washi and some putty for me to try, which I'll link this below if you guys want to go and check them out as well. And just like all the candy and bars and the self-care goodies, like, and I love, I always love with small businesses getting to hear more about their vision and the heart behind their business. So this was really, really neat to not only get to hear about their mission as a small business, but how neat that they included a special blurb about the artist and giving us more info about the artist. So I love it. I'm all about it. <laughs> True artist diamond painting. I'm going to link their Etsy shop, of course, below. Please go check them out. And even if what they currently have in stock is not speaking to you, definitely hit the heart on the shop so that you can see if and when they add new kits to the shop and new listings. And, um, that way you can follow along because I have a feeling this is a company you are absolutely going to want to be keeping tabs on. So <laughs> really, really blown away and definitely hoping to work on this very, very soon, maybe even at, for my next whip. But I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Have you had the chance to at least click over to the shop before? Have you heard anything about them before? Um, what's your first impressions? I guys for a first run and first release from a brand new shop yes i am super super excited and very very blown away so i will link all the things below in the description let me know if you have any questions comments concerns let me know what your thoughts are um definitely go and check the shop out true artist diamond painting um if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a thumbs up before you click away and if you're not already subscribed consider subscribing as well i try to share lots of content like unboxings and brand new companies like this as well as post reviews of kits that i've completed helpful tutorials whip and chats everything you name it <laughs> i try to do it diamond painting wise so Thank you all so much for being here and for watching. I will talk to you again soon. Have a great day. Bye friends.